at the house, and even tonight, there's been a lot of talk about the good guy and the concealed carry person who can save us. And, um, you know, as a whole, I think they're, they're fine, they, you know. But in schools, I think it's a bad idea. And you will see in the email that you got from me that I included a list. I actually, there's a hard copy, too, that I brought for everybody. But it's out there. Uh, a list just from going on the internet and finding 29 incidents in schools of concealed carry permit holders or uh, resource officers or sometimes police accidentally shooting themselves, uh, leaving their loaded guns. Plenty behind. of reports, uh, hundreds and hundreds in fact, of people with CCP permits who have committed crimes, murders, uh, some accidental and some not. So I just don't think that. When I walked through our state house this afternoon, I could not even begin to understand how people could ever think more gun restrictions would be a positive influence in our community. Now, I know why. The individuals here tonight demanding more gun restrictions are not only uneducated on the subject, but rely on sites like concealed carry, excuse me, concealedcarrykillers.org, which grossly manipulates data, if it's not obvious by the bias in the website domain. A common statistic brought up from this website is that 1,300 total people have been killed by concealed carry killers. While this statistic sounds alarming, 1,300 people killed by concealed carry killers, but let's dig into this a bit more. This website uses newspapers and media reports as their primary sources of information. The total number of alleged deaths by concealed carry killers, 1,300, represents instances from 2007 to 2019. Over 11 years across the entire country. Out of the 1,300 deaths, 533 of them were suicides. If you implement ninth grade level research, you are left with this site claiming 767 people were killed by CCW holders over 11 years. Let's put that into perspective taken directly from the Chicago Police Department's annual report, in 2016 alone, there were 691 murders by firearm just in Chicago. As many homicides by firearm there are in one city in one year is nearly as many murders that gun control advocates claim CCW holders have committed across the entire country over a span of 11 years years. Even a site as biased as concealedcarrykillers.org shows that CCW holders account for less than half of a percent of all murders in the U.S. Less than half of a percent. Considering that there are over 17 million CCW holders, which is about 5 percent of the U.S. population, the claim that CCW holders are anything other than well-trained, responsible individuals is absolutely absurd.